Tony Pollard, he survived the loss of Ezekiel Elliott with only Ronald Jones. Yeah, it was Rico Dottle, I think, was already on the roster. Malik Davis was a little interesting down the stretch. There are touches for the taking. And I guess the problem with Deuce Vaughn may – so the Cowboys have called him a weapon was the whole point of this question. Yes. Well, it's not really a question. Um, they called him a weapon, but is he fighting for the same touches as Tony Pollard, and is he like not the kind of change of pace back the Cowboys need? Or can there be room in this now Kellen Moore less offense, a.k.a. far less creative, for there to be kind of a change of pace behind the change of pace, Tony Pollard, who's going to function as like an Austin Eckler type lead back. Maybe he handles a few more carries than Austin Eckler, actually. But this, yeah. where, where do the touches come from for, du for Deuce Vaughn, if anywhere, in this offense? Uh, I think that there is a, a path to, to some volume here. And obviously, to upside, should, should Tony Pollard miss any time, <clears throat> crossing myself right now um and, and uh sorry to get religious but uh yeah i mean De deuce Vaughn, uh <laughs> in an offense guided and coached and 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 cr cr crafted by mike mccarthy who has recently said that he doesn't want to score too many points i think that we there is a path to rushing volume like if he's going to stick by his guns and say hey look like we're we want to we want to bleed the clock we want to run it. We want to establish it. We only want to pass when absolutely necessary with our six hundred million dollar quarterback and <laughs> and uh, and our franchise receiver. Um, then then yeah, I mean I think that Deuce Vaughn could could possibly see you know 10, 10 touches a game somewhere somewhere in there if the if the game script is right. I could see him being very game script dependent. I guess is what I'm saying. But I, I think he's a very interesting pick, especially if you're fading early early round running backs. Speaking of the like early round running backs, and Tony Pollard is going to be one. He was last year. Even with Ezekiel Elliott there, Tony Pollard reached 193 carries, which is actually smack dab in the middle of the Eckler zone. Eckler was 204 last year. Yeah. I mean, how much room for growth do we think there is for Tony Pollard? I mean, they're not going to make Tony Pollard like a 250 carry player, are they? No. And like I feel like if they keep Tony Pollard around 200, I mean, was, someone's getting carries. Malik right. Davis, Ronald Jones. I mean, hopefully Deuce Vaughn is one of them. But I could I could also see like a very unsatisfying like door number three option is for some reason getting 90 carries for the Cowboys this year. And it's it's a weird, it's a really really weird situation. I mean, yeah, I mean just just for for skeptics and and I count myself as one for you know a running back who's five foot seven. I mean that's just incredibly small. Um but uh, Deuce Vaughn was ninth in the nation last year in rushing attempts with 244 um at Kansas State. So I mean he he can handle seemingly handle a workload at least at least in college. Um he had 1300 yards which was among the uh the most in the nation. So I I, I do think that he, he's a guy who can eat into Tony Pollard's early down role, whatever that is. And honestly, the Cowboys, you know, I know that they had some, some turnover with Kellen Moore leaving and Mike McCarthy taking over, but philosophically they, that, that team, that franchise has never seen Tony Pollard as an every down back. And I, I don't, I don't think that that changes. I, I'm not, I'm not trying to say you, you can't draft Tony Pollard because he's explosive. He's efficient, does a lot with a little, that's going to continue, but I, I do think that we need to ratchet back a little bit on thinking that, okay, Zeke's gone. So Tony Pollard is going to see 25 carries a game. There, there is no universe where that's happening. No. And the Cowboys though, I was just thinking like galaxy brain takes at the Cowboys who last year, they were one, two, they were sixth in the league with 531 carries. And like so much of that went out the door with Ezekiel Elliott and like all the signaling, all the telegraphing is more rush attempts. But I almost wonder, like, even as they're like ever more heavily philosophically going in on the run, if the attempts end up coming way down, just because they're going to be so much more efficient without Ezekiel Elliott. But I, I just don't know who like that second true option is going to yeah. be. I don't know for sure if it's going to be Deuce Vaughn. I guess he might be the favorite, but I could just easily see like Malik Davis yeah. or R Ronald Jones. But I think kind of no matter what happens, my take is going to be they're going to have less raw rushing, even though they're more philosophically built on the run just because they're going to be so much more fit. And like, I know people get tired of us piling on Ezekiel Elliott, but they're just, he was that inefficient. Yeah, they're right. just going to be, it is addition by sub subtraction in the efficiency department with Zeke gone. He was, I mean, he was at the bottom of every metric uh, in, in measuring 
you know, what running backs did with their carries basically. Uh, and yeah, so I, I do, I do think that's, that's right. I think, I don't think Ronald Jones will be on the roster uh, come, come week one. So I think we can kind of cross that one off Malik Davis though. You know, Hey, I believe I tweeted several times last year that Malik Davis looked like the team's best running back. 